could have won your certificate for heroism by approaching them right here in the synagogue. I didn't think they would leave so soon. Oh, yes, there was did. no yes, way that I could have known that. We're saying that. Yes, you did, Marcia. You did, Marcia. You went to the hotel. You took You knew where to be gone. You're a liar. You're a liar. And I am a Jew. Yet between us, there is an abyss. Don't worry about me. Not about you. About Misha. And what's more, about his son, will he be a Jew? He will be a man. That's enough for me. Then a Jew, according to you, is not a man. Break the chains, Rabbi. Let your anger explode. This is your chance. A chance offered to you by God. Mind you, you are not strangers to me. You, Yakov, Chaim Viktorovich, Pushkin Street 16 room, first floor facing the street. Yes, Comrade Inspector. <coughs> Pinsky, Shmuel Yosipovich, your daughter is still in Moscow. You, Aronson, Moitke, Taylor, former Taylor, unemployed, retired, since when? Six years, right? Da, Comrade Inspector, six years. He didn't say anything about himself, about the situation, about the Jews? No, no, no. We, we never discussed politics. Never, with nobody. What is Yom Kippur? A holiday, I think. An important holiday? A, a Jewish holiday. What sort of holiday? For old people. Enough! It must stop! Once and for all, with my son, it will. Oh, Father, don't answer him. Tonight, as last year, and the year before, I shall recite the ancient prayer of the oppressed. Ani mami It was very moving. It was beautifully yeah, it was, done. It was yeah. so moving. So I thought it was uh, very um, challenging. And uh, the story and what it uh, conjures up, the questions that it asks are very important questions. And this is Elie Wiesel's um, majesty. The production was very powerful. And it shows what an, an imaginative, creative, powerful, penetrating touch can do to take words from the page and not only bring them to life, but to have them carry significance that, that can speak to people's hearts. Oh, it was, it was incredible. But it, there was a connection. And a lot of the uh, story uh, came back from the beginning to the end. It was a follow through, so you could really see a connection. And I, that meant a lot to me. I'm a Russian Jew who came from Russia in uh, 1989, so I know the story, I know the pain, and it really was a very good play, done very good and emotionally, and play was in all people who was doing the expert. And I loved learning about Russian Jewry before. It's really a moving experience. And I believe that this play that you directed 
and all of Elie Wiesel's theatrical works as really a cornerstone to our project. I feel very honored to be here. Gila, on behalf of Professor Elie Wiesel, thank you very, very much. This is your second or third, I think, that you did. And Ahima, he said, that thank her for her efforts and for her dedication. Gila, personally, I know you for a couple of years, and I'm always impressed by your uncompromising desire to bring with their ideas again and again to the theater. We are today on the eve of the Holocaust Remembrance Day, and no doubt that the play you selected, Zalman, is very appropriate to the content and the atmosphere of this special day. You must know that Eddie Wiesel was the one who suggested to the President Carter that the United States Holocaust Memorial Day will be on the same day, on the same day like in Israel. And it designed for one reason, to remember the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. Today, it's 48 years ago. Zalman in Wiesel's play is totally different than the Warsaw Rebels. But Zalman and the Rebels are part of the Jewish faith. I hope you will, Gila, you will continue to bring us Wiesel's plays. You, you took a big challenge on your narrow shoulders, but you must continue as long as you can. Thank you very much. Thank you.